The MEN Arena in Manchester, ready to welcome Amir Khan on the biggest night of his career. Our MC is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our World Championship main event of the evening. Please welcome the boxers as they make their way to the ring. First, joining us to the blue corner, the boxing sensation from Bolton, England. Please welcome the challenger, Amir Khan. I've been in this too long. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the red corner from Hamburg, Germany, please welcome the defending champion, Andreas Kotelny. Back to Britain, strictly on business. well-traveled, well-schooled, and clever technician Andreas Kotelnik, who's developed through the backing of the uh, much-improved Ukrainian sport, and along with his friends, the Klitschko brothers, under the hard German regime where he has flourished. A high-class operator who's been largely overlooked in this build-up. That's a mistake, Jim. That's a big mistake because when you look at me, he was a top-class amateur. He's been brought along slowly. He has had to fight his way to get to this position. Now, he hasn't been manoeuvred. He hasn't taken any shortcuts. There are absolutely no weaknesses in his makeup. He's tough, he's strong, he's an excellent 12-round fighter. He will not be easily dislodged tonight. His work rate may be a little bit of a problem, maybe can, can take advantage of that, but this guy is a good fighter. A fascinating battle and a tantalising test for Amir Khan. Here's how they line up. Khan, younger by nine years, he's got the height and the reach. Katelnik had to strip naked to make the 10-stone limit. Khan, of course, up from 9-9 lightweight. In around four years exactly, Amir Khan. Katelnik, more seasoned, more experienced. Look at the difference in the rounds box. Khan, the puncher, with the speed. Katelnik, the cagey defense. Now, the odds pretty incredible, this. A fortnight ago, they were both 6-5 to five on level to win this fight. Khan, 4-1 to one on, floods of money coming in. Gatelnik, 11-4 to four against, and he's the world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the MEN Arena here in the heart of Manchester, England. 
as Frank Warren in association with www.frankwarren.tv and the Queensbury Fight Network and sponsored by Russian Premier Vodka and Bet Fred present the featured bout of the evening live and exclusive on Sky Box Office. This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, President Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor Aurelio Fiengo of Panama. Along with the British Boxing Board of Control, the steward in charge is Mr. Charles Giles of Dudley. Introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside. From Denmark, Ove Oveson. From Spain, Jose Manuel Garcia Reyes. And from France, Daniel Talon. Introducing our third man of the ring, our referee in charge, hailing from South Africa, Stanley Christadulu. All right, fans, here we go with our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Light Welterweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance, and boxing fans joining us around the world, the time has come. Live from Manchester, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first, the challenger on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, really needing no introduction on these shores, entering the ring wearing gold trunks, weighing in at nine stone, 13 pounds, four ounces. He is the 2004 Olympic silver medalist, and tonight he aims to become the youngest world champion in British boxing history. With a record of 20 wins, one loss, he has 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, moving up in weight to challenge for the world title, please welcome the former undefeated Commonwealth champion, the current and reigning WBA international champion, ladies and stone even. Like his challenger, he is a renowned amateur champion and Olympic silver medalist. His professional record stands at 31 wins, two losses, and one draw, with 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making the third defense of his title from Hamburg, Germany, by way of Ukraine. Please welcome the defending WBA light welterweight champion of the world, introducing Andrea Scotelli. <laughs> Timekeepers at the bell, Gary Grennan and Andrew East, and a referee in charge now to give instructions, Stanley Christadulu. Wonderful atmosphere. Big expectations. How is Amir Khan feeling right now? Will he become a world champion at just 22? There's Freddie Roach, the coach who's turned his career around in Hollywood. Is he ready? Will the chin, the defense, the stamina hold up? against a natural light welterweight with a wealth of knowledge, the canny, savvy Andreas Kotelnik. Seconds out. A quiet no prayer for Khan as Kotelnik makes the third defense of his WBA title. He's proven. Khan has proved his heart and mental makeup to come back from the disaster 10 months ago against Bradis Prescott, but now he's in the big lead. We're getting his punches off early, a little bit of spoiling up close, good tactics against a counter puncher because it's when you let your own punches go, you're at most vulnerable. So I mean you've got them off and then a little bit of spoiling, clever stuff to start with.
Khan's strategy all about speed, getting in and out, raiding tactics, looking to work the Katelnik body, lateral movement, and they are saying his feet are ever so important in this fight. Katelnik sometimes starts slowly. Ideal start from Khan, punches off in and out of there, just let him see his defence, he slipped a little bit there. He could have been caught with his chin up. You have to remember, Khan has never really been all that hard to catch with punches. You know, he's so intent on what he's doing himself. The shoving Katelnik back and being ticked off by the referee. A wry smile was on the face of Katelnik. Katelnik has made him make a couple of mistakes and Amir knows as soon as he's committed himself he's made those mistakes and he's reacting quickly so his thinking is sharp this is an excellent start from him a good jab there and moved around the ring well trained doggedly hard in the Hollywood Hills Amir Khan but Katelnik the old fox he'll try and remain tight some of these Hitting gloves, one or two sneaking through. But the main thing is, he's winning rounds, he's doing more work than Katelnik, and he's not taking anything. Just another little mistake from him again there. Just now and again, a couple of times in the opening round, he's left his chin unprotected, but uh, he's been too quick, Katelnik hasn't uh, managed to move in on it. Left hands from Katelnik, trying to back up Khan. As he'll school him that he's a little boy. But can he cope with the hand speed? The razzle dazzle from the Bolton man. Uh, this is good stuff from Khan. He's showing a little bit of maturity. The tactics are good. He's getting his punches off and then not allowing Katelnik to come back with any counters. Katelnik a bit livelier than I thought he would have been in the other rounds. I thought he'd have backed off most of the time in the opening round. He hasn't done that. In and out of range, Amir Khan, who takes the opening session well. Nice work, now uh, here. Don't leave with the right hand. Okay. All right, one time you reach with it, okay? I right, don't. Well, we're behind the jet. The instructions right. of Freddie Roach. I think Freddie noticed the same couple of little slips that Amir made that I've noticed just a couple of times. He left himself hanging out for the counter. The counter didn't come, but 12 rounds is a long time. But that aside, it was an excellent opening round from him. Just has to be careful now and again, leaves himself a bit exposed. He did it again there, but grabbed and nullified, which was clever. So his tactics are right, and he's off to a flying start. So that's him again, just leaving himself exposed a little bit. Has to be careful of that. A sensible first round. He's got through that. Maybe one or two of the nerves will have gone. The gold trunks of the 22-year-old Amir Khan in fight number 22. He's been boxing for 14 years. And this is what he's aimed for, the world title. Current property. That light welterweight of Andreas Katelnik in the Ukrainian colours. Katelnik trying to come forward now. Let's keep in mind that uh, Khan hasn't done too much on the back foot throughout his career because for most of it, he thinks pretty much his own way. So we're about to find out uh, how effective he is when he's back up. And this is terrific. Yeah, quick combinations. Katelnik, a little bit more aggressive than we've seen in the past early on. But it's the difference in speed at the moment. <laughs> Trying to turn Katelnik, find angles. Katelnik struggling with the speed of the punches here. Getting close but not able to do anything really effective. Okay, a lot of Amir's uh, punches have been at least part partially blocked. But the work rate is superb and he's not taking anything. And he's sticking to the game plan. He's not staying in long enough to get involved. This is what he did against Marco Antonio Barrera. 
That was an excellent performance in March, under pressure. Now you can't help but impressed by the start from Khan. Excellent, getting his punches off, using his longer reach. Not there long enough to be countered. Beautiful boxing so far from him. He's found his timing and rhythm quickly, Khan. Good defensive work, but gets caught by right hand from Kotelnik. That was an impressive burst of punching from Kotelnik. Given the chance, you can see what he's capable of. Just a mini heart in the mouth there for Khan supporters. Kotelnik, who's been a ten-stone fighter for seven years, is their extra power up in weight. I mean, the good news, he's making Kotelnik work at a pace he's not all that accustomed to. So maybe it won't last the 12 rounds as good as it has done in the past. Kotelnik trying to get off with the left hook. I think he studied that. The shots to the tempo that Willie Lemon and Craig Watson and the amateurs put Khan over with. Well, this is a different Kotelnik from the one we expected. He's quite prepared to come forward, show aggression, but he just can't match the speed of Khan in the early stages. A very warm welcome back to uh, this WBA light welterweight title fight. And Amir Khan's already, after just a couple of rounds, thrown three times as many. Katelnik's only landed nine. It's been a good start. Certainly has, and if I was asking how, how Amir would fare in a real fight, well, we're finding out because this is a real fight. This is good action. He was listening to Freddie Roach intently for the entire minute there, Amir Khan. First challenge for a world title, former Commonwealth lightweight holder, a big step up here against Andreas Kotelnik, whose last defence was a win over Marcus Maidana, who recently upset Victor Ortiz. That's good form. And Kotelnik is a stayer as well. Good right hand and a body shot. And Khan just caught in a bit of a haze, but back he comes. Well, Kotelnik showing us that he's no slouch himself there. Those punches were fast and they were accurate. He's tested Amir's chin. And Amir's still there looking at him. The body shot from Khan. Nice punching at range. He's had top sparring in the wild card gym. And they say that his chin has held up over the nine months he's been there. He's got his jab working so well, even when it's not really finding the target, it's stopping Kotelnik from setting anything up. Lovely little right hand from him, too. That jab just flicking in his face. So speedy. Looks for the body, but a good elbow block from Kotelnik. And Khan is not leaping in with punches the way he did at one time, so that's another thing that uh, Freddie Roach has addressed. There's more control in his boxing. Really, boxing beautifully at the moment. Lovely lateral movement there. Keeping his gloves nice and high, Khan. What a rehabilitation under Freddie Roach, and if he can pull this off, quite a special achievement in under a year since he was blown away by Bradis Prescott. Yeah, lovely defence there, Jim. Yep, see, he's thinking of defence now. I think it's been ingrained in his thinking now. Get the punches off, then get the chin down, the hands back up again. And that's what he's been doing. Uppercut two, right hand from Kotelnik. Just occasionally, he comes up with something. It looks a bit harder 
and his knockout ratio suggests only 13 in 31 wins. Well, Khan took a good head shot, a good body shot, but come blazing back. So answering some of the questions we need answered. A tactic spot on at the moment from Amir Khan, and he's entertaining the crowd too. With his speed, his movement, and his boxing brain. Michael Tim, such an experienced German trainer. He uh, once had nine world champions. Looks after Jurgen Brahmer and Felix Sturm. Ruslan Shagayev. They'd have come up with a real plan as well. And maybe it is just to weather the early storm. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, Katerny's putting up here, but that was the headshot and the body shot. And look at the way Amir responded straight back down to action again. Who knows? Maybe he has a tougher proposition at 10 stone. Maybe this is his natural weight, but he's shown plenty of grit here. The speed's still there. And he's sticking to the tactics and perfectly. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Stay focused, keep it tight, sir. Second round four. Yeah, Freddie Roach was telling us out in LA that he believes Amir Khan will be the perfect light welterweight. Alex Ariza, his conditioner, who doesn't get much of the praise, has restructured the Khan body, put plenty of power into his legs. And that's what he needs tonight with his movement. Yeah, he needs a bit of substance in the punch. It's no good leaping in with four and five punches. He has to throw good quality, stiff punches, and that's what he's been doing. These little signs of danger again from Katelnik. Yeah, with that right hand that's underrated. Remember, he toppled Gavin Reese and took the Welshman's unbeaten record when winning this title. Reese a different build, obviously, to Khan, short and stocky. Khan with the height and reach. But uh, that shows his form, the right hand gets through. Khan's defensive boxing has been so good tonight. Just the way he's getting himself out of trouble, keeping his eyes focused on Cattell, just getting himself out of there, picking his times to let the punches go. Tactics perfect so far. Body shot from Kotelnik. And that was a, a punch that Michael Gomez just troubled Khan with when they met. And that terrific five-round thriller. That solid look about Kotelnik still won't be shifted. And a good hand speed again from Khan. I mean, a lot of his punches in this round have been blocked. But he's still looking busy. But the Cattell neck just sings he's getting a little bit closer, finding a bit more time to get his punches off. Good job from him there. Can not really finding the target quite so much in this round. See, I mean, that, 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 that's all blocked there. That's that tight defence that he's learned under the... German ring education and Reyes Katelnik. I mean, fighters that go in with him, Jim, when they come out, they say he's deceptively good. Yeah, and he's blocking so much. I mean, in the earlier rounds, Khan was doing so much more work than Katelnik, so you had to give him the rounds. But uh, Katelnik getting himself well into the argument in this round. Good bust there from Khan. He's edging closer, Katelnik, and using those defensive skills as if to say, I've seen this before. But just pulling out the odd little face now and again, Katelnik, as though he's wondering, am I ever going to solve this young fellow out? But making a far bigger impression in this round, Katelnik. Starting to unleash a few heavier looking shots, Andreas Katelnik. Maybe that was his round, the Ukrainians. Breathe, Dave, in three, now that three map. Come on. Have a look at the odds now. Seven to two. 
on Khan, five to two against on Katelnik. Your money's still firmly on Khan because I know you've been wavering a bit this week, Jim. No, I've been worried about Amir because simply he hadn't proven himself at this level, but he's proving himself tonight. He's been caught with shots. Then there you can see the stats there. Look at look at the difference in punches landed. But uh, Kotelnik has just enjoyed his best round. Then you know if he's walking Amir down a bit more often, getting through, and you can see Khan's punches been blocked as they come back, forced really onto the de defensive several times in that round. So Kotelnik deciding it's time to put the foot to the floor. It's only the 87th round in the four-year professional career of Amir Khan. And the 251st for this wily old pro, Andreas Kotelnik. More mature, more seasoned. And is he just waiting to pounce later on? Khan's got to pace himself, Jim. That's very important tonight. But it's difficult to pace yourself when the guy's on you all the while. And that's what Kotelnik's doing. He's making a work every second. And I mean, Amir's pace has to slow. You can't expect him to box at this pace or the pace he was showing in the first couple of rounds for the full 12. And that's when you start to worry. But he's tasted the power of Gattel now and he's coping with it fine. In and out well there. The rat -a -tat rage from Khan. Gattelnik still just trying to stalk him around the ring. Close down the space and a right hand from Kotelnik. Khan gives ground but comes back firing. Well, considering Khan hasn't really done much of his career on the back foot, really is boxing beautifully here, but just lost his way a little bit there. There's a left from Kotelnik. When he's on the back foot, you just have to be careful not to look negative. You have to be, keep the punches flowing just like that. The trading there between the pair. Far more from Khan and a lovely body shot as well. Trying well, to overwhelm Kotelnik. He's showing the grit that we need to see from him in this round. This is real good stuff from Khan. His own defence is tight. But that little grit that we've asked about, we're seeing it now. He's got huge inner strength, Amir Khan, to face the music after what happened against Prescott to take the Barrera fight and to relocate to LA to turn his life around. Huge respect for that. See, he has the early pattern back again now. He's getting punches off, not allowing Kotelnik to do anything, making him miss wildly there. This is a good round for Khan. Dazzling hand speed from Amir Khan and back out. How pleased will Freddie Roach be so far? Can't fault it, he's uh, just uh, keep focus, keep tight was all he said. He doesn't want to be change anything, and neither would I. Kotelnik beginning to look just a little bit frustrated because nothing he has tried this round has made any impression. Khan has done enough to win this round already, so he's just backing off. Great stuff from him. So far, so good. If you want Amir Khan to be crown king tonight, but there's a long way to go. Yeah, but he got himself back into the groove he was in in the first couple of rounds again. Yeah, keeping Kotelnik occupied, getting the punches off. OK, some of them are being blocked, but not allowing Kotelnik to come back with much. Seconds out, round six. A strategic, technical, tactical affair between two boxers of the highest quality, both silver medalists from the Olympics. Kotelnik in Sydney, Khan, of course, in Athens. 
Kotelnik throwing punches now that are out of character for him. He's usually so controlled, but he knows he's struggling with the speed of Kana. I think he realises he badly needs a big round, so he's throwing kind of a couple of wild shots at the start of that round. There he goes again. No frustration there, as the hook was a mile off. And this concentration from Amir Khan has been spot on. He's obviously gone through this fight so many times over the last two or three months. And especially after three-week delay as well. Difficult to get himself back on track, but he has. Yeah, we'll consider him next a different type of fight than he's ever been involved in good left hook from him. I mean, the way he's responding to Katelnik's attacks are so impressive. Just the occasional jab, the right hand and the body shot from Katelnik. See, I think in Amir's early career he was getting himself fit, but with Freddie Roach he's learning how to fight. And that's what he's doing in there, it must be tough in the gym and he's learning how to survive how to, to deal with situations, and he's doing that so well tonight. And he coped in sparring with the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world in Manny Pacquiao. A roach masterstroke, throwing them in together. Is Kotelnik getting annoyed, or does he know he'll come on strong in the second half of this? Remember, he's been 12 rounds nine times before Khan only once. He just can't pin Khan down at the moment, and the definite signs of frustration in his work. Look at the way he's using his feet tonight, Amir Khan. Yeah, and considering he's never had to box like this before, never had to spend so long on the back foot without making mistakes. Really executing the plan so well. Selnik tries the body shots, but a right hand, and Khan just leaves himself in the pocket there. But fortunately, for his supporters, gets back in. He has answered everything, every success that Katelnik has found, Khan has answered it immediately. That's all you can ask. Katelnik slow to the punch. Must be getting irritated in there at the halfway stage. Breathe deep in through your nose and out through your mouth. Come on. Slowly. More despondent figure on the uh, right of your screens there. Double the punches thrown from Khan and nearly a hundred landed. It's an excellent success. Great over six rounds. And that corner, the gold corner, must be delighted. Yep, I've given Katelnik one round, the fifth, everything else to Khan because he's kept him under wraps, not allowed him to get the punches off, and signs of frustration now in Katelnik's work. Now and again, okay, gets through with the odd decent shot, but another round where he was outworked. And the main thing is, Khan can take his punches and reply. Seven's out, round seven. This is already looking like the hardest trip to Britain for Andreas Kotelnik, who came over and gave Junior Witter a real run for his money. Witter, who felt Kotelnik would stop Khan round about now. No signs of it yet. Suleiman and Bai. He fought and got a draw and then the win over Reese, but this is different. I suppose Khan may be using some of the elusive boxing he, he used as an amateur, but he's never had to box like this before and it's really impressive the way he's adapted. Look at the counters he's coming back with here. He's counter-punching the counter-puncher. Terrific! Sweet right hand from Khan that stopped Katelnik coming forward. He's picking these beautifully tonight, Amir Khan. It's a really good display. And these jabs have not been blocked. They're going right through the guard of Katelnik. He might be younger, he might be fresher, but he's outclassing a high-class technician. Well, if... 
can, can indeed keep this pace going for 12 rounds. He's almost home and dry because everything is just falling into place perfectly. He knew it was going to be a long affair. That's what they've worked on, but Katelnik sensed it as well as a 12-round fight. Don't count him out just yet. He does come on strong. I mean, it's so smart. He gets his gloves up when he knows Katelnik's going to let the punches go, but he's answered everything, and he's doing it again. His conditioner, Alex Ariza, just shouted to Khan, go to the body, and that's what he did immediately. Listening to his corner every bit of the way. Well, Katelnik has been hitting so much fresh air in the last couple of rounds, it must be taking something out of his tank. Beautiful left hand work from Khan. The German based Ukrainian who's never been stopped, he's never even been on the floor. These raids are lovely. And he's found a way to box at his own pace, so he's, he's the more comfortable looking of the two. Katerling is the one who's having to try to force things for success. Good shot there. Lovely. Left hand from Katelnik, but back calm comes. That's what's impressed me. Every bit of success Katelnik has managed. Khan has answered it immediately. It's super stuff so far from Khan. Well, Freddie Roach must be totally delighted with what his charge yeah, has done round, so far. Totally outboxing Katelnik. He adores Amir Khan, Freddie Roach. He's been with so many fighters like Steve Collins here. The glitch goes Mike Tyson, James Tony, all sorts. But he's got a soft spot for Khan. He believes he can uh, make the critics eat their words that he will rebuild him and that he will become a world champion is tonight the night. He's had 24 of them already, Freddie Roach. Yeah, well, if this continues, you can add another one to the list. And no signs that it shouldn't. How can Andreas Katelnik turn this around? Once or twice he's got through, especially with the right hand. But Khan's so sensible and getting out of trouble with his hands high. And any worries we had about uh, Amir Khan over the longer distance fight, well, I think we can discount those. Now, these are just going to don't hit me punches he's throwing at the moment, but uh, they're stopping Katelnik from setting anything up. Out of range, just landing on the gloves, but Katelnik not allowed to do anything. Wild swings now. Body shot and a left hook to the head from Katelnik. It's few and far between. He's trying to walk Khan down, but his work rate, well, it's miles behind Khan's. See, he's not an aggressive fighter. He's not used to cornering fighters in, in, in the ropes. He's not used to this kind of opponent. He's usually the one posing the problems. Well, tonight, Khan's the one posing all the problems, and Katelnik can't solve them out. There's a right hand, though. Khan just leaving his chin unprotected. I'm again! I'm again! No! No, 
surely this will be Michael Tim's plan for Katelnik to really start motoring about now. Body shots. But the club is, there's no signs of Khan's pace slowing. You really would have expected in the eighth round here that Khan would have started to dip a little bit, but he's not. His legs are so strong, he's been allowed to box at his own pace, so he's looking so comfortable. Patelnik coming on, trying the hooks, but look at that from Khan, bobbing and weaving, and back with blistering speed. He is enjoying it tonight, Amir Khan. Well, there's a maturity about his performance tonight. I mean, it's as though he, in front of our eyes he's become a man. He's not a 22-year-old kid anymore. Tremendous stuff. A performance of maturity. And will he join this illustrious list of world, like world to weight champions? Jack Kidberg, who was, uh, I think, about 22, 23 when he won this. Aaron Pryor, of course, terrific fighter. Terry Marsh, undefeated on the IBF title in 1987. The great Julio Cesar Chavez, one of the best fighters of the modern era. Penel Whitaker, Sweet Pea, a world champion in four different divisions. Kostyat Siu, what a great fighter he was, and what a night it was when he was unhinged by Ricky Hatton, a two-time champion at this weight. There's been talk, possibly, of a Hatton Khan fight, but at the moment we wish Ricky Hatton a speedy recovery from a little illness that he's picked up. He actually wished Khan well, the Hattons did, that's nice. Yeah, of course, well, why not? I mean, uh, it's only when you're in the other corner that you don't. But uh, this has been tremendous stuff from uh, my Amir, start to finish. Four rounds to go. And if this is the acid test, he is answering all those questions. Amir Khan. Body shots. That's what Freddie Roach wanted to see. Can Katelnik impose himself? Can he get lucky? Khan just not allowing Katelnik to set anything up. As soon as he tries to get himself set, the jabs are coming, even if he blocks them, it's preventing him from getting anything going. Circling again, Khan. Fitness and stamina look good for now. The town it just looks at his corner as if to say, I'm doing everything I know, and it's not working. And it's also good to see Khan not afraid to grab up close, just to see himself through a little crisis. Call with the left hook there, but again, taking the punches, bang on the chin, and he took that one too. Yes, he did. And that was flush from Katelnik. He believed that not having to grind down to nine stone nine might help his punch resistance as well, Khan. Yeah, well, you're naturally heavier when you're not boiling. So, sorry, naturally healthier when you're not boiling down to weight. And that's how this looks. He looks so strong, so mature. And the way he switches onto defensive mode instantly is really impressive. I think that's been drilled into him by Freddie Roach. Yeah, Freddie Roach likes the natural weight, doesn't he? And then Manny Pacquiao against Oscar De La Hoya. Katelnik still trying to target the body, still putting everything into it. He's just a move or five moves behind Khan. Yeah, he's still looking strong though, Katelnik. Although he's frustrated, as, he, as you can expect. He's still winding up the big shots. He's not giving up on this title yet. Again, Khan not afraid to spoil a little bit just to get him through a little crisis. If anything, just taking a slight breather in this one. A couple of punches get through from Katelnik. He's losing his way a couple of times under pressure in this round, Amir. But here, back again answering. It's caught with the right hand, though, and a left hook. The chin is exposed there, but he's taken the shots.
Listen to Freddie, don't look around the ring. Yeah. Hey, your face is still working, but work the jab behind the thing. But once you get that jab landing, okay? Once you get that jab landing, you're backing him up. Keep backing him up for me, okay? All right? Four or five jabs, you can back him up with each one. All right? And then drive that right hand in the body, okay? All right? He's lost his way a couple of times under pressure in that round, yeah, taking the shots, but thankfully he's taken them well. The ones he's been having forced to take flush, no signs of any weakness now. Jimmy's ever only done 12 rounds once before, and the pace he's set and the punches he's landed already, he must be feeling it, Khan, at this stage. I think the fact that he's boxed to take his own style, you know, to his own plan and at his own pace. It's if the other fellow's forcing you to fight that they can serve the energy from you. But Katelnik is the one who's having to force everything and it's more liable he's the one to be feeling things at the moment. Khan just has to be careful it doesn't become ragged in the later stages of this one because desperation is going to be seen in some of Katelnik's work from here on in. Slightly desperate look in the Red corner alongside us from Team Katelnik. This is again really positive from Amir Khan at the beginning of the 10th. Digging in Katelnik, he's trying ever so hard. Just can't cope. Well, those were blocked, but again, stopping Katelnik, setting up. Punches again, not finding the target. That one did. So Khan's close-knit family on their feet there. Nassim Hamad at ringside trying to beckon Khan in. Hamad, the youngest world champion at 21 since the war. Khan will be number three if he pulls this off. Herbie Hyde, the other. He just seems to have so much still in the tank, Khan. Just still looking so lively, so strong in the legs, and so quick, both with the feet and the punches. I think that's a key point, Jim, you've made about the legs that Alex Ariza, the conditioner, has worked on. So much power in them tonight. Well, he's pushing Katelnik back now. I used the word maturity in some of the earlier rounds, and that, that, that's what we're seeing from him here. from Katelnik again attempts to close that range down make Khan stand and fight but just as he does that the repulse from Khan is spot on he's answered just about everything every little bit of success that Katelnik has found Khan has answered it immediately good defence from the Olympic silver medalist from 2004. And maybe Katelnik's getting tired. He's been around the game nine years. And is this new blood coming through in Khan? Well, that is an amazing statistic. 50 to 8 jabs landed what a weapon what a tool for Khan yeah but when it hasn't been landing it's been keeping Katelnik occupied not allowing him to set up the attacks he has used the jab perfectly tonight Khan has he's executing the perfect game plan and he's winning by a mile on your unofficial card yeah Katelnik is keeping the rounds a little bit closer and they have some success of his own but he's still been outworked, and you can see by his face, he knows he's not having anything like the success that he needs. 25 to 1 on Khan. Well, the late flood of money before the fight. I think there's going to be some happy punters tonight. Six minutes to go. It's been brilliantly executed so far from Amir Khan. And look at the way he gets straight down to work at the beginning of the 11th.
Jim, there was all the talk in the build-up about the mega fights against Marquez and Mayweather, and he wondered if he'd take his mind off the job, but he's kept it on it here. He certainly has, and he took another full-blooded right hand there, and still able to come back with his response. Fighters in the wild card, Dean Byrne and Craig McEwen were telling me he gets a bit macho in sparring, dropping his hands, trying to prove he's got a chin. Not looked in a, a lot of trouble tonight in that department. He's taken a few and come back. And he's also learning how to nullify up close. These are things he's never had to do for most of his career. So you can see the difference that the Roach experience has made for him. Largely good defence, but Katelnik just pushes Khan back. Trying to use that natural 10 stone weight late on in the fight. Katelnik's winding punches up now, just trying to get lucky with one of these right hands. Right hand and a left to the temple. Again, Khan stands firm. Well, this is the desperation we expected to see from Katelnik. Again, Katelnik's corner has been told by the referee to keep quiet, stop shouting instructions. But they can see the title slipping away here. He's trying to retain it, though, desperately, Katelnik. And he did get Gavin Race very late on in the 12th of their fight, but he dominated for large parts of that one, and he hasn't here. Yeah, he'd already broken the uh, Gavin Lee's down. Certainly has not even come close to doing that with Amir Khan. Left hand still, threatening Katelnik. Khan covers up, tiring on the back foot. Just signs that he might have to Hold on for a last round blitz from Katelnik. The 12th will be interesting. Big drive, huge drive from Katelnik. He knows his title's on the way, unless he produces something special. Give me a deep breath. Listen to me. Give me a deep breath. Come on. All right, Amir. Concentrate. Listen shot. to Freddie now. Listen. He has one shot, okay? Yeah. He's going to try to knock you out this whole round. You hear me? You box him smartly with the left hand. Everything behind the jab. You hear me? Yeah. You use a feint in the jabs. You back him up when you can. All right? And use your angles when you have your combination. Use your angles, okay? Now, here, Amir. Don't get caught swinging. You hear me? Place your shots. Don't let him get lucky. That doesn't happen in this game, okay? Listen. All right? You're doing great. Stay focused. No problem. You stay focused. Three minutes. Okay, now, three minutes. Now, listen. Listen. He's going to come like a train. A fascinating insight. As Amir Khan goes out for the final round, he is within touching distance. Three minutes away from the coronation, from surely being crowned a world champion. Andreas Katelnik gets a right hand in, in the first 15 seconds of the last session. I mean, you don't want to change too much what Amir's doing, you don't want him to switch off to start thinking about the bell, you want him to keep boxing the way he's been boxing, but just a little more thought and defence, because it's desperation time for Katelnik. He can spoil, he doesn't need to look good in this round, he can mess about, he can spoil, he can do what he likes, just don't get tagged cleanly. And they know that Katelnik will come out swinging. He's still got something in the legs, but he's left it very, very late. Here he comes, Katelnik. Khan swaying out of the way. Yeah, and that's dangerous, pulling back from punches like that with the, the hands down. Thankfully got away with it. 
Good shots. Katelnik left his chin unguarded. Well, he has to take the chances now. Just has to throw caution to the wind. Just go for it. He needs a knockout, and everybody knows it. Standing at times with him, Amir Khan. And there's electricity in this MEN arena where he's enjoyed his work, best night against Pereira and his worst against Prescott. This would overdo everything in his career so far, Khan. Just over a minute to go. You would have expected Katelnik to be a bit smarter with his attacks, but he's open. Khan just wants to get that chin down, the hands up, and see this through. And there the jabs from Khan that Freddie Rage wanted. Katelnik brave, trying desperately to somehow cling on to his title, but it is slipping away. And it's heading to Britain. Half a minute away. left in the legs of Khan but defence is still okay as the second stick away the jab comes out again which has been brilliant a terrific technical performance from Amir Khan who followed the game and will be the world light waterweight champion have no doubts the crowd We do have a new star for British boxing. You couldn't fault that performance if you tried to fault it. He showed us everything, the questions that had to be answered about the chin, about the grit, about the physical strength, and was he a genuine world-class performer? All answered tonight. What a performance. Start to finish. Tremendous. He threw nearly 900 and landed 170. Double. Katelnik's, but it was the manner of the way he went around about this 12 round job. Not official. We wait for the uh, cards to be tallied. Denmark, France, and Spain, the judges from. Well, we expected uh, Khan to go off to a quick start, which he certainly did. He got the first couple of rounds in the bag. He was getting his punches off, getting himself out of there. He was doing a little bit of spoiling. Okay, now and again, Katelnik did show some success, but it was impressive. Any success Katelnik did show, can come straight back again, took the play away from him. His defence was excellent, the defence that let him down against Prescott and put him in trouble so often in his early career. Those problems have disappeared. And look at the way he's putting punches together, the way he's keeping a good fighter occupied, not allowing him to set up the attacks. OK, Katelnik is not really an aggressive fighter, he was forced to be an aggressive fighter tonight, but Can's concentration in every round just do anything he could do to get away from the punches when they did come his way. There his chin was tested, bang on with the left hook there, but no, this is a different Amir Khan now. Superb, the move up to 10 stone has been a master stroke, and look at the way he's finishing. Tremendous. We have a new world champion, and all the doubts surely have disappeared. 117-112. Gave Katelnik a couple of rounds, they scored the last one to him because he put everything to it, but it wouldn't surprise me if the judges had it even wider. And the crowd loved the performance. Let's find out for definite. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Juan Garcia Reyes scores about 120 to 108. Judges Ove Ovesen and Jean Francois Topin scores about 118 to 111. All three in favor of the winner. The new WBA Light Welterweight Champion of the World, Amir Khan! Unanimous and wide, glittering like his gold outfit.
The boyhood dream is reality. Amir Khan is a world champion. Ten months on from that greatest Prescott nightmare. What an amazing rehabilitation. A huge roar continues to echo around the MEN arena. A fabulous night for British boxing. A fabulous night for Amir Khan. Glenn McCrory, what a performance. Unbelievable to think 10 months ago he was on the floor, he was knocked out in one round. To come back, to turn your career around, to win a uh, weight up the, 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 the World Championship, it really is a testament to that. This man's his commitment and his courage and, and what a great character he is. Nicky. He showed us amazing fitness and that what he's learned in his last year. To do that for 12 rounds was brilliant and he took so many good punches there too without flinching and came straight back. Look how this man, Freddie Roach, has turned this young boy, no, this young man's life around and turned him into the full fighter now. He's turned him into a world champion, boy to man. Overnight we've seen it in front of our own eyes. The world championship belt around his waist. Amir Khan ringside with Ed. Amir Khan, coronation night, world champion at just 22. Has it started to sink in yet? Yeah, yeah, you know it's going to sink in. I want to first of all thank God, you know, for doing this for me. Um, thank my father, my mum, for all the prayers they make. And Freddie Roach at the wildcard boxing gym, Alex Ariza. And, you know, I just want to say happy birthday to Asif Ali. His birthday today, so this is his birthday present. But, you know, whoever thought within three fights after that defeat, in the third fight, I'd be a world champion, and look, I've proved everyone wrong. Katana come in there to win, and we're up away, and I felt so strong. He caught me with some good shots, and, you know, I just want to say, Katana, give him all the best. I'm sure he can come back and become a world champion again. How tough was it in there, keeping your concentration and wits about you for 12 rounds under that pressure? It was very hard, because, you know, Katana didn't stop coming forward. I had to box him, I had to pick my shots, and just never, not make a mistake, because, you know, in the later rounds, I did get tired. My work rate was huge. But, you know, this fight has given me so much confidence and it's because of this man here, you know, sat next to me, Freddie. It's got a Freddie on this fight. He, he's a man. Freddie, how good was that performance by Amir Khan? He fought a good fight. I mean, you know, the, the guy, he put a lot of pressure on us, a lot more than we expected. I thought he'd be a little more passive, but he came to fight, he came to win, and uh, Amir fought a beautiful fight. I thought he won every round. Amir, was he, were you hurt at all by Katonic? No, no, I wasn't hurt, you know. I felt his pressure coming forward. I felt a little tired in the coming around 10 and stuff. But, you know, I got my second wind and I started boxing again. I went in the corner. Freddie told me to stay composed. Don't start hooking with him because that's when you'll get caught. And, you know, there, I just stayed composed in the last round, just boxed him and kept catching him. You were written off 10 months ago. How, how much does it mean to you having this win? And did you have any doubts yourself that you'd come back and do this? No, I never doubted myself. I knew it was going to be tough on me to come back just to prove the critics wrong and that's what we did when I went to the wildcard gym and spotted with Manny Pacquiao Freddie said from there look it was just a mistake that you made and I'm gonna get you back on track again and that's what he did promoter Frank Warren a very proud night for you as well yeah I'm very proud of Amir what he done was fantastic I can't think of any boxer in a recent memory and only his 22nd fight has become world champion and uh, he done it in style and what I thought was great was as he, he did maintain his composure throughout the fight and he's still learning he's still got a, he's still learning I mean, congratulations, well done tonight. Thank you, guys. Take a bow, Amir Khan, Britain's latest and newest champion of the world.